so I'll make it harder. guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are going to predict some match day three of the world cup group stage it's the last match day of the group stage before the knockout round so i'm super excited to be predicting these games uh but before we get into it make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new and um get predictions out in the comments to enter or get more points on the prediction league go calculate the prediction league after Match day two games have taken place, like all of them. Uh, so it'll be posted on Community Tab and in my Discord. But if you're not already in my Discord, do feel free to join my Discord. The link is down in the description. But without further ado, let's get on with the first game, which is Ecuador going up against Senegal. Ecuador got a very good 1 1 draw with Netherlands. Um, some people would say they deserve to win it, but they got a good draw. Senegal beating Qatar 3 1, which means Qatar, unfortunately for them, join South Africa in the two uh, host nations to be eliminated at the group stage of a World Cup, um, which is a bit disappointing for Qatar, but um, but uh, yeah, they did score their first World Cup goal first, so that was a good moment for them. But uh, yeah, this game, can't really see anything separating these two sides. So we're going for a one more draw, which would mean Ecuador will go through, will go through and Senegal will go crashing out at a group stage which would be a bit unlucky for them. I feel like if they had Sadio Mane though um, then it would definitely help Senegal in in this game but yeah 1-1 one, one draw Ecuador going through and we move on to the next game which is Netherlands going up against Qatar. I can only see one winner here and it is Netherlands. Netherlands probably going to top the group um, but they, they didn't win every game to be fair. Ecuador stopping them winning every game. Um, but this should be pretty easy. I think I think Qatar will score, but I think it should be a 3 1 win for Netherlands. Moving on to the next game, which is quite a big game. It is Iran going up against the USA. Now, there's so many things that could happen in this group still. All the teams could still make it out and all of them could still be eliminated. Just don't know what's going to happen with this game. USA getting a new winner with England. A very, very poor match, really. Both teams not at their best. Iran beating Wales 2 0. Hennessy getting sent off. The Wales goalkeeper. Um, but yeah. Ooh, in this game, I'm not sure. I feel like it's going to be very, very tight. But um, mm, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to say that uh, both teams are going to cancel each other out here. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. Next game is Wales going up against England. This is a massive, massive game. Not even cause, not only because it's a derby, but both teams could still go out and both teams could still go through um, to the knockout rounds. England very, very disappointing. Also Wales disappointing against Iran. <sighs> I don't know. I'm going to say we just edge this one and go through. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-1 win. For the three lions. Next game is Saudi Arabia going up against Mexico. Saudi Arabia, unfortunately, them lost 2 0 to Poland. They did have a penalty, but they missed it, unfortunately. Lewandowski scoring his first goal at a World Cup. Great moment for him. Um, Mexico lost 2 0 to Argentina. Argentina bounced back from a 2 1 defeat to Saudi Arabia by beating Mexico 2 0. Ooh. Thing is, Mexico haven't scored all tournament. Ooh, I feel like I feel like they just lack a bit of goal scoring going forward. I think I'm just gonna edge Saudi Arabia here. I think I'm gonna go for a one 0 win for Saudi Arabia, which would which would uh eliminate Mexico from uh, the World Cup at the group stage, which would be a bit shocking for them. They usually get out of the group, but um yeah, Mexico. To be eliminated out of the group stage of this World Cup, in in my opinion. But anyway, the next game though is Poland going up against Argentina. See Poland and Argentina both within two 0 um, yesterday. Backs out of time recording this. Oh, it's gonna be a close game, but I feel like you know Argentina. You may be one against Mexico, but still, you can still be out with a defeat or possibly even a draw here. I think. Um, so I feel like they'll 
I'll be um, really up for this one. I think it's just going to edge us 1-2-1 to Argentina. Ooh, Lewandowski scoring his first World Cup goal, but I feel like his side are going to suffer another exit at the group stage in a major tournament. And I'm going to say it's going to be 2-1 to Argentina. Next game is Australia going up against Denmark. Australia got that pretty good win. 1-0 against Tunisia. Denmark, unfortunately, them just lost 2-1 to France. Uh, France, probably the best team in the group. Well, yeah, definitely the best team in the group. Um, but that only leaves Denmark on one point going into the final game of of the group stage but you know the are going against australia um but australia will be hot be on lot coming into this with a lot of confidence after that win but i don't know i feel like denmark denmark um will be fired up for this one you know they need to qualify they're a good they're, they're a big team denmark they need to they can't go out at group stage um you know, they play each other, they play each other at the last World Cup in the group stage. That finished 1 1, I do believe. Now, has Australia's squad got worse or better since um, the 2018 World Cup? I feel like, unfortunately, it's got a little worse. So I feel like Denmark, I feel like this would be an easier game for them than 2018 in Russia. So I'm going to go for a 2 1 win for the Danes in this one. Which would be sad for Australia because that would be another World Cup where they exit out of group stage. But yeah, 2 1 Denmark. Next game is Tunisia going up against France. Again, I can only see one winner here. Um, I'm going to go for a 2 0 win for France in this one. Um, yeah, not really much to say. Tunisia quite poor, France look quite good at the moment. So I'm going to say it's going to be a 2 0 win for France. Next game is is Costa Rica going up against Germany. Now, Germany are playing, as a time of course, they're playing right now against Spain, but no idea what the score is. They do not know their full-time result. Costa Rica, however, after getting battered by Spain, they went ahead and beat Japan 1-0 after Japan beat Germany 2-1. Who saw that result coming? Wow, that was an insane result. Ooh, I feel like Germany will just edge this 1-0. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-1 win for Germany. we we'll move on to the next game, which is Japan going up against Spain. We're Spain playing right now, but do not know their full-time result. Japan lost 1-0 to Costa Rica after beating Germany 2-1. Spain looked very good, though. So I do not see Japan winning this one, unfortunately. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-0 win for Spain in this one. Next game is Canada. Going up against Morocco, Canada losing 4-1 to Croatia, meaning they're out of the World Cup at the group stage. Um, disappointing for them, but what a result that was for Croatia. Um, what a result as well for Morocco, beating Belgium 2-0. Belgium in a very precarious position going into their last um, group stage game. Um, but we're not here, we're not, we'll talk about Belgium in a minute. We'll talk about this game here. I Morocco will come into this oh, uh, with a load of confidence after that 2 0 win against Belgium. So I think I'm going to get another 2 0 win here. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2 0 win for Morocco. And we move on to the, to the next game, which is Croatia going up against Belgium. Likewise, with Morocco coming into their game against Canada with a load of confidence, Croatia will come into this game with a load of confidence too. So I'm actually pre predicting a shock here. Belgium to be eliminated at the group stage. That would be hugely disappointing for them. But I'm predicting it that it's going to happen. Because I'm predicting a 1-0 win for Croatia. Meaning Croatia and Morocco will go through. Belgium and Canada getting eliminated at the group stage. Which will be crazy. But yeah, my score prediction for Croatia-Belgium is 1-0. Croatia. The next game is Serbia going up against Switzerland. Time for recording this, both um, these teams are playing tomorrow. Serbia playing against Cameroon and Switzerland playing against Brazil. 
So of course, do not know the full term result in that one. But both sides you know, got um, got um, around the same amount of quality. So I can't really see either side um, winning this one. So I've gone for a 1-1 draw in this one. The next game is Cameroon going against Brazil. Now, of course, do not know um, each other's um, full-time result. But, again, I can only see one winner here. I've gone for a 3-0 win for Brazil. Brazil, uh, yeah, to smash Cameroon in this one, unfortunately. Um, and then the next game is Ghana. Ghana up against Uruguay. Ghana will be wanting to get their revenge after Luis Suarez uh, eliminated them at the quarterfinals of the 2010 World Cup. Um, with that handball he did on the line, I mean, Ghana missing that penalty, and then Uruguay beating Ghana on pens to advance to the semi finals. Um, but yeah, I, could, I can't see Ghana getting revenge, unfortunately. I've gone for a 2 1 win for Uruguay, I think I just have enough. Which leads us on to the final game, which is South Korea going up against Portugal. Um, Again, I just feel like Portugal would have just enough for this one. Which is why I've gone for a 2-1 win for Portugal. But guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe if you're new. Comment down your predictions to enter the prediction league or gain more points. Um, if, you're, if you're already in the prediction league. But yeah, that would be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later. Take care, take care everyone. And goodbye.